Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Rocket Slime. So, we're going back to the Tomb of Tutankhamun once again, because we need to finish up the world. And then we still have six slimes left in there, as well as two enemies that we have not caught there yet. Trust in the goddess to guide you to Huli. Follow the cacti ball wherever it may go. Alright. This should be our last visit to the world for a long time, until we have to start grinding on stuff. Or not have to, choose to start grinding on stuff. So I don't really care about bombshells anymore. I'm more caring about enemies and then cattail, or catnip. And obelisks would not go astray either. Alright, going up here again. Whee! Alright, looking at the map. We're gonna need to go back to that place we went to before. So the quickest way is going up and to the right here. Whee! We can't go. Oh, dang it! For a split second, we saw the la one of the new enemies we needed to catch, and they're a random spawn enemy. That was a goodie bag. You may have seen them for like a quarter of a second. They only appear very, uh, extremely randomly in specific rooms. They're the rarest enemy in the game, and I would have loved to have been able to catch one. Oh well. Ay caramba! Not you again, spineless. Adios. I'm out of here. Get back here. Alright, some more rail carts in here. We gotta destroy that somehow. How are we gonna do that? Ah, this is how. We're gonna push the cannon up. And then... Weesh! Sure enough, it happened off screen, but we still blew it up. Now up here we've got a plotty punk, a slime chest, and a regular chest. Ooh, it's Russell Sprout. <laughs> I love that name. Hi Rocket, did you know monsters drop lucky bags sometimes when you beat them? You can often find some really unusual things inside. So don't forget to send away any you find back to town. So yeah, occasionally when you actually flat out destroy a monster in this, they will drop like a question mark bag. Which will contain kind of sort of a random item. Not completely random though. Basically it'll be like certain enemies will drop bags that have like a certain percentage of chance of finding specific items. Ooh! It's Stardust, the star slime. Yellow rocket, I'm Stardust. I'm a painter at the palace. Come and see me next time you're in town. I can show you how to do a wall painting. The others will be green with envy. I look forward to it, Stardust. Oh, and that's two letters for us. Alright. It's first Russell Sprout. Thanks, Rocket. I got home safe and sound. I was feeling a bit drained inside that chest. It's so nice to be out in the fresh air again. Wooden arrow. Yellow, I'm Stardust the famous painter. The mural here in the palace is black with graffiti and needs a makeover. Why don't you come and give me a hand the next time you're around? I can't wait to see your painting skills in action, so you've got the green light from me. A catnip, eh? Keep those crazy cats coming back. You cat burgle some catnip. 
Well, thank you, Stardust. I appreciate that. All right, let's go downwards now. Oh, that's actually where we're supposed to go. All right, interesting. Hi, meow. Also, that'll create a shortcut back to the beginning of the map. Very nice, that. Now, if we go down here, we can create a shortcut here. Use the cannon, shoot this out of the way. And we basically created a shortcut. <laughs> the cat's like, I'm cool with this happening. Alright, there's a lot of good stuff here, though. So we got two mimics here. We want to pick them up. Oh no, the mimics actually beat me up. Then what's in here? Money! Cool. Oh, I didn't want to destroy the cat flat out. Oh, there's a chest in the water. Well, that's probably going to have a nice prize inside. Eh, just money. Oh, there's another one. More money. They say more money, more problems, but I have not found that to be the case. You lot can go back to town. So we actually should go up. There's a giant room up there that I thought that's where we're supposed to go, but it's not. Oh wow, a massive railway room, eh? A lot of rock bombs here, so if you ever want a bunch, this can be a good room to farm them. Alright. Well, let's go up here. Ooh, three slime chests up here. Oh no, ooh, it's Shelby! G'day, Rocket! Have you spotted the marks you got on the minimap sometimes? Do you know what they are yet? They show where you fought and won a tank battle. Alright. It's Prince Pigummy, a, a royal slime, I guess. Now I can finally return home. Could you, I send, could you send me off on a sand cart? Then finally, a heel slime named Cordon Blue. Is this sand carts are hit, they leak, or they break, we? Oui. You must be careful, none. Thank you, Cordon Bleu. We'll send those three back. We can get full HP by touching that panel there. It's a pixie carrying another pixie. That's funny right there. Three letters for Rocket. Alright, Shelby first. G'day, Rocket! Cheers for helping me out, mate! I'll let you in on a little secret. I always keep these... the three S's in mind when I'm cooking up some Tucker. You know what they are? See, sniff, and sip. Keep them in mind when you can't go wrong, mate. Scrape for the skies, you get a girder. Pig gummy. Another spelling of an armor is armor. And all you... <laughs> and you can call a store a shop. And bluff is another word for cliff. And bottom means... I'll tell you another day. Oh, this looks interesting. You receive a mysterious recipe. What could it be? So this is kind of what's going to happen later on in the game, and this is another reason why items are important. Eventually, we're going to be able to make items with other items. And that's mainly why you want to grind on a bunch of simple pieces of, of ammo. Cordon Bleu. There are many different types in the plob, none? But they are all, as you say, blockheads. Ah, wee! Oui, this is something of them dropped. You can have it, Rocket. Catnip, how thoughtful. Alright, let's throw them all, all on the cart. Oh, 
Memory serves as one of the rooms that ghosts appear in when it's nighttime. Sure enough. If you're good, you can hit a ghost before he vanishes the first time. Is there another ghost in this room? Maybe there is not. Alright, let's go to the last room here then. <laughs> he fell into our little trap. Oh, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. Definitely not Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm sorry. That is a slime wearing a Shadow the Hedgehog cosplay costume. Suck it to them, boss! Arriba, arriba! So he's the legendary flute warrior? Ha ha ha. Leave him to me, Swivel. I'll make mincemeat out of this ravioli head. I'm not interested in small fry like him. He's all yours. Have a ball. What do you reckon then, slime ball? Think you can take me on? Do you want to blow on the warrior flute and summon the Schleeman tank? Yes. Swivel is way cooler than Shadow the Hedgehog, I'm just gonna say that. Even though the, his helmet alone is pretty awesome, even though it makes him look like Shadow. Now this I gotta see! I'm gonna cook your goose, slime ball! He has two Cacti Ball po uh, <laughs> partners. Schleeman Tank, the hero rides again, versus the Gollumator. Golly gosh. Alright. I eat tanks like you for breakfast, and I have 220 HP now! Oh, he's got iron balls, is that it? Well, they're slow pieces of ammo, so I'm not worried about that. That's the annoying thing, is all my ammo is breakable, more or less. So I'm gonna have ammo being destroyed a lot. But I also have Holy Water and Oracle come. Oh, yes. Please throw your cacti ball out of the cannon. I appreciate that. <laughs> Good grief! What happened there? <laughs> Maybe I should not have made so much breakable ammo and put it all in my tank. Yeah, this far I haven't even been able to scratch him. Alright, I'm gonna forget about knocking their ammo out of the sky. I'm just gonna focus on beating them up. Ouch! No! My club! There we go, at last. I welcome the Cacti Ball coming into my tank, honestly. There we go. My Oracle come hit. And there goes the Cacti Ball. Well, I was lucky that the rock bomb came out at just that time. Oh yes, Oracle come, please fire that out of the cannon. I like how he's throwing his own guys out of the tank. I don't think that's intentional, I think that's literally just his AI being like, throw stuff! We're hurting! Load more ammo, you loafers! Yeah, and stay out. Alright. We're in trouble now! Don't let him at the engine! Well, too bad, dude.
Man, considering they had considerably better ammo than I did, they really sucked. And they also had free crew members, I only have one. So this is another type of engine. A lot of barriers all in like a corridor that you have to get through. You can jump over the light bulbs, you can also elasto blast to destroy them. Woohoo! We totally beat their tank, and what do we get? Oh, a missile. Missiles are good pieces of ammo. Gah! You beat me! Huh. So a two-tailer doesn't quite cut it. But... Ha. Too slow. Some other time, Flute Warrior. Swivel is like the coolest guy in the game. Hey, is anybody out there? Hurry up and let me out! It's Huli! Nice one, Rocket! Cheers! I always knew you had it in you! Come on, I've had enough of this place. And that's the Tomb of Tutenschleimen. Alright, when you f save all of the slimes in a world, you get a special prize as bonus. So, for this world, we get a steel broadsword as our prize. That's a pretty good piece of ammo, especially if for early game. And we collected a lot of stuff. Wow, we collected 11 pixies. That's great. Ah, hmph, Rocket. You managed to rescue your friend, I see. That's the way. Never forget to love your fellow slime. He's right! We should work together to help everyone, Rocket! Hmph. Well, Rocket, I have another mission for you now. Have you heard of Mount Krakatroda, lad? Not a very hospitable place for slimes. Hmph. Full of rocks and rubble. Anyway, somewhere on that mountain lives the esteemed and noble Crackpot. Uh, maybe she should get a better name then? Well, hmph, the Plob have always started operations on the Sacred Mountain. Or they have already. We must keep the Great Crackpot from their evil clutches. Don't worry, there won't be a single Platyosa left in the by there by the time we're done. That's the spirit! We need more slimes like you! Who's this? Since when are Platypunks allowed into the palace? I have an important announcement! Come to my garage at once! I have worked my wonders, so now you can have a crew of four slimes in the Schliemann tank. When you want to change who is in the crew, you will talk to me, ya? Yeah? Count me in! I'll help you with the tank battles, Rocket! I can't wait to show the plob a bit of hooey action! Press the start button during tank battles to open the tactics screen. The tactics you use will change depending on who's in the crew. Try lots of different crew members, and come up with your own unique combination. Alright, so now we get a crew of three members, in addition to ourselves. So right now we have Huli, Swatsy, Gloopirior, Blubba, and Curate Rollo. Alright, so Huli can fire himself at the enemy or infiltrate and sabotage. So firing himself at the enemy, he'll basically like act like a piece of ammo. He'll jump into the cannon and like blast to the enemy tank, but instead of going inside the tank if he hits the tank, he inflicts 15 damage. Not great, but considering who else we have to deal with, he's not bad. We have Swatsy. Swatsy can use the lower cannon or the upper cannon, depending on which one you tell him to. So if he uses the lower cannon, he'll shoot exclusively out of the lower cannon. If he uses the upper cannon, he'll shoot exclusively out of the upper cannon. He can only carry one fiend on his head, and he's pretty slow, but at least he can shoot out the cannon. Also, I forgot to mention, infiltrating and sabotaging means he'll basically try to break into the enemy tank and destroy their computers and beat them up and stuff. He's not very good at that. Gloperior can keep everyone alive. That's where she'll basically run around, use really bad healing spells to refill your guy's HP. Not very good. She can also use the lower cannon, but she's still slow like Swatsy. Blubba is actually really good. So Blubba can use the upper cannon, which sounds kind of mad, but Blubba is one of the few people who you can put in your tank who can carry free fiends on his head. Even if he's slow, he can at least throw a lot in the cannon, so I really like Blubba. 
He can also keep the baddies out, which he's basically if bad guys try to enter your tank, he'll try to destroy them. I basically just keep him on upper cannon duty, so I'll put Blubba in. Then there's Curate Rolo, he can keep everyone alive like Gloperior, or he can literally just follow you around and heal you whenever you get low on HP. So, if you need healing, he can be good, but we don't. So I'm going to put in Swatsy and then Huli. So I've got Blubba, Huli, and Swatsy. Is this okay? Yes. Again, not a great crew, but better than nothing. Will there be anything else? Um, uh, hang on. I'm going to go to Slime Mechanic first to see if there are more HP upgrades. Great Ains, there is work for me to be done. Alright, so we have straightforward HP up. This work really ought to be done. I wouldn't lie to you. We need 10 rock bombs and a wooden arrow. Alright, so we'll have to remove the rock bombs from our tank in order to do that. It also costs 100 gold. Then we have muscly HP up. That just needs 400 gold. You are not driving the Schleeman hard enough. I need to put it for wit spaces. So we need more money for that one. But the other one should be fine. Alright, so we're going to edit our ammo. Start by removing all. We're going to start from scratch. Let's put in more stable ammo, shall we? Alright. So Oracle come. Steel Broadsword deals 28 damage. That's very good. BS1 Cruise deals 24 damage, which is quite powerful. It also travels through fast in the air, kind of like the arrows. Not as fast as the arrows, but it's still pretty good. Holy Water's a must. Oaken Clubs are good. I'll put in two Rock Bombs, but we need 10 for the HP upgrade. I'll put in two Girders. They do 10 damage apiece, so they're more stable versions of the uh, Obelisks. Alright, I'll put in... A I'll do that, and then I'll put in bombshells, because I don't want a bunch of obelisks. I do want some stable ammo that doesn't shatter really quickly. Alrighty, then. Oh, wait, hang on, before I forget. Straightforward HP up, please. The tank's HP increased by 30. Okay, so it's still at 30 HP. Eventually it gets to 40 HP, though. Alright. Hey, Stony. Ba bum We moved the 20 slime ton iron balls. That's cleared the way over the bridges. You can get over to the west of town now. Go on, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Okay. Okay, Stony. Whatever you say. Still a few people in this area. Got the mimic. Here's Stardust. Yellow, I'm an artist, you know? I'm really putting my soul into this one. But don't feel green. You've got a kind of artistic flair about you, too. I can feel it. I'd be tickled pink if you put it into the test, so what do you say? Yes. Do you want me to give you a few pointers? Um, sure. It's easy. Just use the stylus to draw your picture on the canvas. There are two different brush sizes, and you can even e erase if you make a mistake. Change ink lets you choose from red, blue, yellow, green, white, and black. So which canvas would you like to paint your masterpiece on? His royal wobbliness. Are you happy to paint on this canvas? Yes. Actually, I kind of like that as it is. That actually, that's really nice. And it is his palace, so I think it's only right to have his picture on it. Have you finished painting? Yes. Do you want to save your masterpiece? Yes. Some black? Come black and see me anytime if you feel... Wow, okay. I can't read today. Oh, lots of people in the kitchen, kitchen now. The reason I love this country is because everyone's so warm and kind. The food isn't bad either. I'm studying hard every day so I can become a proper Metal King Slime. Metal King Slime, that's a pretty cool name. Did you get me letter, mate? All of us guys back here have been sending thank you notes. I hope you're reading them. Oh, speaking of which, Huli sent me one. Hey, Rocket! Let me know if you need a hand out there. 
You can pick out your crew members for the Schliemann tank at the garage in town. Oh, interesting. Try not to smash and burn. You find some fire water. Fire water is an interesting piece of ammo. It actually deals no damage if it hits the enemy tank, but rather if it shatters on the ground, which it will, if it reaches the enemy tank, it'll basically start a fire and will damage anybody who touches it. It's not very good for your tank. I am the Ed Chef here, so I am busy as as ZB. Come another time. The card. Alright, palace is filling up. So now that we've gotten 25 slimes back, or 20 slimes back, we can go to this part of town now. So that's the 100 slime ton iron ball, that's the hardest one to move, you need to save everybody. Heroes well. Nobody in this house yet. <laughs> they have a stuffed platy punk though, that's cool. 55 slime tons are blocking the next part in town. 70 slime tons blocking the library. Wow, this part of town is just deserted, unfortunately. Also, let me see my monsters count. Alright, so I almost have enough cats. This is the museum, but it's blocked off now. This will be very important later on in the game. Alright, unless I'm mistaken, I think that's everything I want to do in this episode. This might be shorter than average, but hey, you know what? This shorter than average episode isn't all that bad. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, even though he said we should go to Mount Krakatrota next, I'm going back to the Forward Forest. Now that we have a good tank and we have a crew... We can go back to Forward Forest and finish things up, do some tank battles there, and rescue the remaining slimes. I think that's a better idea. So, thanks for watching, and until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless. God bless you, my slime.